Hi guys, welcome back to our vlog. Here I am again, Teacher Annie, and for today's video, samahan niyo ako sa aking first ever report sa aking doctoral class. So, ang class ko guys ay every Monday and Wednesday from 7 o'clock to 9 o'clock p.m. So, pagkagaling ko sa school, 6 o'clock, o uwi ako, makakarating ako 6.30 or before 7, ay nagbubukas ako agad ng laptop para umapin na aking online class. So, for today's video, meron kaming report kasama yung aking mga kagrupo. And, alam nyo guys, kinakabahan ako. <laughs> Kasi, matagal-tagal na, na rin mula na huli akong nakapag-report face-to-face -face classes pa yun guys nung ako ay nasa masteral ngayon naman ako ay doctoral na guys, so samahan nyo ko Congratulations, Ma'am Anna, for your wonderful sharing of report. So, here I am, again, Mrs. Jennifer or Annie Bulacan, to share my insights about the first postmodernist view on the derivation of happiness. So, I chose the idea or the insights of Professor Ga Gaad Saad, who is a 59-year-old Canadian marketing professor who authored a number of books about happiness, wherein he referred to the inverted U theory of Aristotle, where he says, too little of something and too much of something is not good. So, based on the pictures you can see on the slide, here is a boy showing one apple gave by his father. So, at first, when he was given by his father with one apple, he felt so happy. But when he saw his father who gave his brother with two apples, his feelings suddenly changed from being happy to being sad and insecure. Why? Because uh, he felt that his father has been unfair to him. Why me? Isa lang yung apple na binigay sa akin ni Papa and then my brother is has two. So, in this kind of situation, we can see that if a person is given too little, he is not happy. But when a person is given too much, another person can also be not happy. So, if we are going to apply this in an educational setting, a leader must always exercise fairness to his colleagues. Whether he has a relative, a friend, or a spouse, or a partner among his colleagues, he or she should always exercise fairness. Because when a leader is not fair, it can be clearly seen that a person could not be happy. Okay? So, yun po yung idea ni Gaad Saad about happiness. Na dapat sakto lang yung leader. Hindi siya sobrang close sa mga kasamahan niya. And then, hindi rin siya sobrang layo sa mga subordinates niya. Another one is, according to him, the quest for happiness is a universal fact. So, every person... Uh, he is searching for his or her own happiness. So, we may have different sources of happiness, but at the end of the day, all of us want to become happy. So, same with me, I'd like to share to you one of my sources of happiness is to study in NTC. So, noon, hindi kasi ako nakapag-enroll po sa NTC kasi natapos na daw yung... Ay, yes. Hindi po, sir, sa mismong NTC po, National Teachers College. Okay. <laughs> Kasali na din yun, sir. <laughs> I'm glad po na na-enroll ko po yung subject na to kasi marami po akong natutunan sa inyo and sa mga classmates ko po. So, yun po. Kasi as for me, as a teacher, masaya po ako na nadadagdagan yung learnings ko and na-apply ko po yun sa aking mga sosyante. Same with my colleagues po. And yun, uh, by studying here in NPC, nadadagdagan nun yung aking ano, yung happiness sa buhay. Aside from work, naglalaan din ako ng time, even once a week, to pursue my studies. Not only to grow professionally, but also to become a better person by learning from other people. So, so I'd like to ask at least uh, one, que one question to all of you. You may share your thoughts po. What makes you happy? Because ako po, I was able to share my thoughts to you. You can also share your reason or the things that makes you happy. Kagaya ng tinanong ni ma'am. Will it be like, will it be very serious question para saan ka mabangon? Yes po sir, para saan ka mabangon. Ano yung nagpapasaya sa'yo? Para sa kape. Para sa kape. Para sa kape. <laughs> Opo sir. So, tinanong ko po yun because when we are at the moment of our lives na we feel lonely, we feel broken, we feel depressed, it is very important for us to determine the things, the simple things that make us happy. And then, from there, when we, when we are reminded by the simple things na nakapagpasaya sa atin, we can definitely go back to normal and become better, to feel better again in life. So, ayun po. And then, meron din po akong isang uh, experience na nais i-share sa inyo. When the pandemic hit the, the, the world, I shared this also to my learners. I told them, when the world seems hopeless, children, I want you to be hopeful. Why? Because when we are hopeful, we are putting our 100% trust to God that whatever happens, He will not forsake us, He will not abandon us. Instead, He will always be with us kasi mahal niya tayo and we are His children. So, yun po yung sabi ko sa mga bata, let us stay positive. Kahit maraming nagkakasakit, may mga mahal tayo sa buhay na nawala 
naman na talagang malungkot sabi ko malungkot pero at the end of the day lagi natin pipiliin na maging hopeful na si God hindi tayo pababayaan okay and then to end my report I would like to leave this quote by Ralph Marston where he says happiness is a choice it is not a result Nothing will make you happy until you choose to be happy. No person will make you happy unless you decide to be happy. Your happiness will not come to you, it can only come from you. So, tayo po ay nakakaalam kung ano yung mga bagay na totoong makakapagpasaya sa atin. And to finally end my report, eh, classmates, let us always choose to be happy every day because a happy life is a blessed life. Thank you po. Yeah, you're correct. A happy life is always a pleasant life, and we have to be very thankful that we are still alive. Diba? Yes, diba sir. Siya, yes, sir. Okay, let's move on to, our, to the next. So, yun na guys. Ang saya-saya ako. Napapatalo na ako sa sobrang saya kasi natapos na yung aking report. So, nagre-report naman dyan guys yung aking mga kagrupo. Pero ako, nung natapos ako sa part ko, halos 8 minutes lang ako nagreport report guys. Nang tuwa na ako. Sobrang saya ko na kasi naitawid ko yun. <laughs> so, maraming salamat Lord. Dahil na kaya ko na makapag-report in front of my classmates. So, ang saya-saya ko dyan guys. <laughs> Obvious naman. So, thank you guys for watching. Kayo din. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, like and subscribe.